Hey you guys, hope you had a great weekend. Welcome back to my little Motivational Monday series. I've been doing good, man. I've been doing this every Monday. Um, today is the first, which means your first quarter of business is over. And my question to you, whether you're in business or you're just realizing three months have gone by and I didn't make any changes to my life, my business, I didn't go after any activities I wanted to do, if there's something creative I wanted to do and I didn't do it, <gasps> I wanted to lose weight, I didn't start. If I would have started in January, I'd be so thin now. You, you, you know where I'm going with this, right? Here's the deal. Me, as a fellow business person, the first three months is over. I can assess the things I did try and what worked and what didn't work. So I can make an adjustment to move forward. So today's motivation to you is, I would like you actually, in the comments, to tell me what are your three new things you want to try for the next three months, for your next quarter. I want to know what are your next three things. It could be anything, it doesn't have to be business related, but I just want you to be involved and understand that if you write things down, you hold yourself more accountable to getting them done. And they usually get done because you're staring at that written down of what you want to do. So I'm going to tell you my three and you can tell me your three in the comments, okay? The front of my studio, I have three panes of glass and it needs a little love and I have some really cool ideas. I'm going to make those windows interactive. So usability of my windows in the front, I have a social media schedule that I'm tweaking for myself to hold myself more accountable to posting to my website, to getting things on Instagram, now, these YouTube videos, I have an idea, and my podcast. There's a lot that falls under my darn social media, there just is. The third thing for me is actually something that is working and I'm going to continue to hold myself accountable to doing it. Easter rolled around with Lent, you know, and us Catholics, we have 40 days of torture. <laughs> you know, you give something up as a sacrifice, quote unquote, and everybody comes up with something. I won't eat candy for 40 days, I'll stop drinking sodas, you know, I'll stop doing video games, whatever your torture is. Mine is I, uh, I kind of tackle the Whole30 routine, which is I want to lose some pounds. You know, I judge everything by my clothes and I'm you know, a little snug. A couple of pants and jeans, um, we're getting a little bit too snug, shall we say. So the Whole30 is a bit extreme, but I got to be honest, when your head is in the game, it's not that hard. And my head's been in the game and I did lose like seven pounds, six, six pounds at least. Those clothes I could not get into for like the longest time, I'm wearing them now. That's awesome. So the Whole30, you can go look it up, but basically it's no bread, no cheese, no dairy, no sugar, which is also alcohol, which is a problem. Very, very, very big problem. Um, and you just hold yourself accountable to those things and you find other ways to nourish your body and you move on. And it's amazing to see how making a small adjustment like that in your life, just eating, man, can drop the pounds. So that really made it clear to me that some things are just habit and they're not actual wants or needs that you have to do in your life, you know? So I'm gonna stick to that as my third, all right? So look, it's Monday, it's the beginning of the week. I want you to think of your three things, write them down, Share with the world, but most importantly, writing it down will hold you accountable to these advances, we're going to call them, all right? Have a great week. I'm going to see you in the next video, and as we always say, stay focused on your dreams. Hit the sub, hit the like, hit the dislike. Just leave a comment, dude. I want to hear your thoughts. All right, you guys. Later!